everyone, welcome back to Fably. In this video, we're going to learn how to get Google Form responses to WhatsApp automatically. So I'm an owner of an event planning business and using Google Forms, I have created a form with the help of which I collect the participants data who are taking part in the recent event that I'm organizing. Now here what my objective is that as soon as by the participant a new form submission is going to be done, I want to get all the details of that form submission like my participant name, email and the phone number. So now doing this manually is a very time consuming and hectic task. So to solve this problem, I have created an automation using Public Connect. Now whenever by the participant a new form submission is going to be done using Google Forms automatically I'm going to get the response of the form submission on my WhatsApp as a message and I'm managing my WhatsApp conversation using Pabri chart flow so if you want to learn how to create this amazing automation between Google Forms and Pabri chart flow with the help of Pabri connect so let me take you to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to get Google form responses to WhatsApp automatically via Pabri chart flow so as an owner of an event management business, I use Google Forms to collect registration details from participants from my events. I use WhatsApp to instantly get notified whenever someone submits the form. So I have created this automation using Public Connect. Now whenever a new form submission is going to be done by the participant, automatically a WhatsApp message notification is going to be forwarded to me with the details of the form submission. This helps me stay updated in real time and take quick actions on new leads or inquiries. This helps me to stay updated in real time. And firstly, I'm going to show you how this amazing automation that I've created works. So I'm going to do a test form submission using this form that I've created using Google Forms. And after that, I'm going to check whether I receive automatic WhatsApp notification with the form submission details or not. Okay, so let us do the test submission now. For that, click on the send button. There's the form link. I'm going to copy it from here and open it in a new tab right over here. So this is the form right over here. I'm going to do the form submission of this form. For the first name, let's suppose I'm going to write it as test. For the last name, I'm going to write it as user. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as test user at the rate pablitudes.com. And for the phone number, I'm going to write a dummy mobile number right here. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on this submit button right here. It says you have registered, we have received your registration. So as now the form submission is done successfully using Google Forms, now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and check whether I have received a new WhatsApp notification with the form submissions details or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp and you can see over here, I have received this message. Message can't be shown on WhatsApp web. So as a message cannot be shown on the WhatsApp web, I'm going to show you the screenshot of this message that I've received on my WhatsApp right now. So this is the message you can see I have received new form submission received. Here are the details. The name was test user. Email was test user at the rate pablitudes.com and this was the same mobile number. Please check the responses for further follow up. Okay. You can see right over here I have received this notification on WhatsApp as soon as a new form submission was done by the participant. So this is how this automation that I'm going to create using Pabli Connect and Pabli Chart Flow is going to work. And for creating this amazing automation, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. For that, on a new tab, I'm going to browse the website of Pabli Connect. That is www.pabli.com slash connect. After browsing the website, Pabli Connect's landing page is going to appear in front of you. If you're an existing user, you can directly sign into your Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. I am the existing user, so I'm going to directly sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you, in which you can see all the applications that Pabli provides, from which we are going to select this Pabli Connect by clicking on this Access Now button right over here. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is going to appear in front of you, which is firstly asking for the workflow name which is going to be get google form responses to whatsapp automatically this is the name i want to give to the workflow for the folder on the left side of my screen you can see i've created these many folders in my public connect account and from these folders i'm going to select a specific one in which i want to save this workflow in for that click on this drop down these are the folders from which i'm going to select workflows as the folder i want to save this workflow in after giving the name to the workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on this create button in order to create a workflow. A workflow has been created. Get Google form responses to WhatsApp automatically and you can see that there are two windows in front of you. One is the trigger window, other is the action window. So what is trigger and action? 
trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two principles. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we're going to set up our trigger step first in which for my trigger application, I'm going to select it as Google Forms. As here, my objective is that it, as soon as by the participant, a new form submission is going to be done using Google Forms. I want public and it should capture the response of that. That is why for my trigger application, I have selected it as Google Forms. And my trigger event over here is going to be new response received. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Public Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. Now using this unique webhook URL, we are going to build the connection between Google Forms and Public Connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. Firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here and open the form that I want to connect. Firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here and open the form that I want to connect to Public Connect. So this is the Google Forms and this is the form that I want to connect. In order to connect this form, go to responses section right here, then click on this link to sheets button right here. It is asking for me to select the destination for the responses. So now for the destination, either you can select the existing spreadsheet that you have or create a new one. I want to create a new one. So I'm going to click on this create button right here. So as the spreadsheet has been created over here, this spreadsheet is directly connected to this form. Now, whenever by the participant, a form submission is going to be done, the record of the response is going to be created in the spreadsheet under these headers right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this spreadsheet to public connect. For that from the panel, go to extensions, add-ons and get add-ons option right here. Then this window is going to appear in front of you. On the search bar, we have to search for public connect webhooks. You can see that I've already installed public connect webhooks. So I'm I'm going to move forward but if you have not installed public connect webhooks please to install it so that with the help of this webhook you can build the connection between public connect and google sheets after installing go back and refresh the spreadsheet from here after refreshing the spreadsheet, go back to extension and now you can see the option public connect webhooks. Click on it. From the drop down, go to initial setup option right here. This window is then going to appear in front of your initial setup, which is firstly asking for the webhook URL. So I'm going to paste the webhook URL that public connect has provided us in this field. It says trigger column. The trigger column will be a final data column on which of the data is added. The whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. In my spreadsheet, my trigger column is going to be column E because this is the final column in which my final data is going to be added. As soon as I'm going to add the data in this column, the entire row's data is going to be forwarded towards this webhook URL. So for my trigger column, I'm going to write it as column E. After entering the URL and selecting the trigger column, I'm going to click on the submit button right here. It says setup configured successfully. Now I'm going to go back. Now the steps that I'm going to tell you right now are super important. Please do not forget to follow them. Go back to extensions, public init webhooks from the drop down. Now select this option, send on event. It is mandatory to click on send on event because as soon as you're going to enter the new data in the spreadsheet, a new response is going to be captured and the data is going to be entered in the spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is going to collect the data and forward it towards this webhook URL. That means our public connect workflow right here. Okay. That is why it is mandatory to click on send on event. So this is how you build the connection between Google Forms and Public Connect. If I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down, it says waiting for webhook response. So now to check whether Google Forms is successfully connected to Public Connect or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new form submission using this form that I've created. And after that, I'm going to check whether automatically Public Connect captures the response of the new form submission being done or not. Okay, so let us do the form submission. So let us do the test submission. For that, click on the send button, this link button, copy this link from here, open it in a new tab right here. So this is the form that I've created. Now let us do the form submission. For the first name over here, let's suppose I'm going to write it as new. For the last name over here, let's suppose I'm going to write it as account. Okay, for the email over here, I'm going to write it as new account 55 at the rate publicutes.com. And for the phone number over here, I'm going to enter a dummy mobile number. Okay, so as I filled in all the required details, I'm going to click on the submit button. It says we have received your registration. As now the form submission is done, if I'm going to open my spreadsheet, you can see the record has automatically been created of this form submission right over here. Now I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down. And yes, you can see right here, the response has also been captured in my trigger. If I'm going to tally the response is the phone number you can see right over here. Last name was account, first name is new, email is new account at the rate publicutes.com. Okay. So now as the response has been captured in my trigger, this means Google Forms is connected to Public Connect and our trigger setup is done. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. As now we've received this form submission, now what I want is I want to receive a notification on my WhatsApp that a new form submission has been done. And I'm managing my WhatsApp conversations with the help of Pabli Chart Flow. 
For that, on a new tab, I'm going to browse the website of Fably Chart Flow. That is www.fably.com/chartflow. Okay. After browsing the website, Fably Chart Flow's landing page is going to appear in front of you. Again, you have two options: sign in and sign up for free. I am an existing user, so I'm going to directly sign into my Fably Chart Flow account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get hundred free credits every month. Okay. As I signed in, as I want to have the access of Fably Chart Flow, so I'm going to click on this Access Now button of Fably Chart Flow right here. Then Pabli Chart Flow's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. So what is Pabli Chart Flow? It is a tool that helps businesses to send WhatsApp messages and manage WhatsApp conversations effortlessly. In order to set up your Pabli Chart Flow account, you have to click on this Add WhatsApp number. You have two options that is WhatsApp Connect and Manual Token Connect. If you want to learn both of the methods in order to set up your own Pabli Chart Flow account, you can find the videos that we have added in our description box below. Pabli Chart Flow provides multiple features. Inbox contacts, team queues, templates, broadcast flows, AI assistance settings under which we have multiple options. If you want to learn about all these features one by one in brief, you can check out all the videos that I've already added in the my that I've already added in my description box below, okay? So now after coming to my Pabli Chart Flow account, firstly we're going to set up our action step in our Pabli Connect account. For the action application, I'm going to select it as Pabli Chart Flow right here. An action event over here is going to be send template message. I am going to send a notification to myself on my WhatsApp by sending a template as a message on my WhatsApp. I am going to receive the notification on my WhatsApp every time a new form submission is going to be done using the template message that I've created in my Pabli Chart Flow account. So this is my Pabli Chart Flow account and in order to create a template from the left side go towards this templates list section right over here. To create your own template go to this add new template button right here. After that, you can see a new template page is going to appear in front of you. Firstly, we need to select the category. You have two options. Select the category according to your requirement. Name the template. Select the language of the template right here. Choose the template type, whether it's text, image, video, or document. Select it according to your requirement. Filling all the required details over here and then submit the template from here. Okay. A template is going to be created. In the same manner, I have created this template message right here. That is event registration confirmation. Okay. And over here, I'm going to use this template to receive receive notification on my whatsapp so i'm going to use this template to send a notification to myself on my whatsapp okay over here i have added few variables in this template you can see right here what is variable like you can see in front of this value and in the end of this value i've added two curly brackets and this is the first variable so i've numbered it one right here so in place of this variable a value like first name and the last name for this name section is going to be added for the email the email is going to be added and for the phone number the phone number is going to be added so we can add the values in place of these variables according according to our requirement. So we are going to send WhatsApp notification using this template right here. Now we're going to set up our action step. I'm going to click on this connect button, add new connection. It is asking for the token with the help of which we're going to build the connection between Pabli Chart Flow and Pabli Connect. To have the token, log into your Pabli Chart Flow account. From the left side, go towards settings, API and webhook section right here. This is the token. I'm going to regenerate the token from here, copy it from here and paste it in this token field right here and click on this save button. After that, firstly, it is asking for the recipe and mobile number. To which mobile number are we going to send this WhatsApp message to? I want to receive this WhatsApp message as a notification on my WhatsApp number. So in place of this recipe and mobile number, as I want to receive a WhatsApp message on my number, I'm going to add my number. But remember, as you're adding your number over here in order to receive a notification, you have to add it with the country code, but without the plus sign. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter the country code and then I'm going to add my mobile number. So I have added my mobile number and firstly, it is asking for me to select the template message using which template are we forwarding the message on our number. For the template, I've created in the name of event registration confirmation. As you can see, I've already told you, I've created this template right here, okay? Header type is text, so I'm going to select it as text right here. I do not have header parameters, media URL, file name, copy of a code, URL variable name. So I'm going to skip the part. For the opt-in, I'm going to select it as none right here. For the incoming block, I'm going to select it as none. No tags are going to be removed and added, so I'm going to skip the part. Attribute and value is not there so I'm going to skip the part now it says enter the body parameter 1 2 3 and 4 I've already told you I have added these four variables right here first name last name email and the phone number to enter the value of the variables these are the fields first variable is for the first name so for the data of this field what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data which is inserting data from the previous step so I'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow 
as i'm going to click on it the previous step that was google forms new response received is going to appear in front of you as i'm going to click on it the response that was captured in our previous step is going to appear in front of you it is asking for the first name of the person who have done the form submission and this is the first name of the person who have done the form submission so i'm going to select the date of the first name from my previous response as now i've selected the date of the first name from my previous response the data is mapped and as i've mapped this data the data has now become dynamic that means now whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this mapped data in the similar manner for the last name i'm going to map the date of the last name right over here for the email i'm going to map the date of the email that i've received and lastly for the phone number i'm going to map the date of the phone number right here after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on this save and send test request button as i've done that we have received a response which is a positive response so if i'm going to open my whatsapp you can see on my whatsapp i have received this message which i can't show on this whatsapp web so i'm going to show you the screenshot of the message that i've received on my whatsapp number as a notification for the form submission so you can see i've received this another notification on my whatsapp that is new form submission received with the details of the form submission name is new account email was new account 55 at the rate publicutes.com with this number so as you can see i've received this another notification on my whatsapp successfully this means we have successfully created this amazing automation using public connect so now to sum up till now what we have done the trigger is google forms new response received as soon as by the participant now a new form submission is going to be done by the form that i've created using google forms automatically the trigger google forms new response received is going to capture the response of the form submission details using publish outflow send template message i am going to get a notification of the form submission with the form details on my whatsapp that a new form submission is now been done and this is how i have created this amazing automation to get google form responses to whatsapp automatically with public connect and public chart flow so this was it for this video thank you so much for watching not just with these applications you can create automation between multiple applications using public connect if you have any doubts you can send us email on support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can check out this link if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button down there